on one terabyte broadband. Wow, I don't think that's a nationally available thing though, Francois. <laughs> Certainly, I've never heard of it. One terabit. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I've just ordered. Um, well, I've just say I've, I ordered over the weekend. I ordered um, the new gaming service from um, Virgin Media. So I'm looking forward to getting that. Anyway, right, welcome aboard the ICE 1703 to Leipzig, which is in fact an alternative train to a broken ICE EMU. The ride into a beautiful autumn morning starts at Berlin Gessenbrunnen. Our train calls at Berlin Main Station, Berlin Sudkreuz, Lutherstadt, Wittenberg, and finally at Leipzig Main Station. We wish you a pleasant journey. Please let your passengers board. So it's actually not a broken down ICE, it is actually an ICE. This is a workshop scenario I downloaded. Uh, let me find out if I can got a cab that's vaguely suitable for this. Oh, I don't know, we might be able to find something. File, settings. What have we got? Have I got an ICE? Oh, I do. That will do. I think that will do. It's not it's not perfect, but it is better than the proverbial pantalon kicking. Oh, hello. What's that pointing at? That'll do. Oh yeah, let's pause the game again and just sort the title out. All right, this is. I need my instructions at the top here. Thank you very much. I think this is one of the scenarios that comes with the pack, and this if it's had some of the AI modified. Um, I haven't got the author written down. Oh, that's bad form. Maybe someone could just look this up and tell me what the author is. If you have a moment, I would appreciate it. Right, that will do until someone tells me the author. Better. Good evening, Soldier UK. Hey, Arnold. Another Tuesday, another TSL on MPTV. Hey, Matt and Chat. Thank you very much, Arnold. Much appreciated. S barn goodness over there. All right, here we go. Where's my pedal gone? There it is. Move a bit closer. Right, now we can go. Is there such a thing as a German Steam era? Not on, not on um, Steam, there isn't, no. But I don't know whether any third parties have made any. That would be awesome, actually. Best Black Forest would really nicely run um, Steam, thinking about it. Oh, it's Kaneki Kun, is it? Okay. Thank you, White Meat. Updated. Oh, 
Oops. I did say nine at the previous signal, so I have no one to blame but myself. We're also in thousand hertz monitoring. Totally didn't see what that signal was. So I'm going to approach cautiously. Ah, oh, it's a reduced speed indicator. Shush. 60 limit. Flashing green repeater signal. This is the flashing green, another repeater signal by the looks of it. Telling us we've got the 60. We made another mail train scenario, Ayrton. Nice. Alright, 60 limit through here. Shush, Sifa. Goober said, should you wait for the massive discount on the Complete Your Collection? Well, it depends if you want the ones that are in the Complete Your Collection. NL Rails, no, this is TS2016 that I'm playing. You won't see TS World on stream, probably until it comes out. Right, got another warning. Got no PZB magnet down there, but I'll just smack it anyway. Yeah. Right, Berlin Main Station, track one. I don't know what my operational error is. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I didn't blow my horn in the. Uh... Okay, fair enough. Never mind. Given how much point, how many points I lost in the overspeeding just then, I guess uh, I'm not going to complain too much at 20 more points. Right. Might as well pull it a bit further up. We've got ten seconds. Hey there, train man. Welcome. Will the DLC that comes to TS 2016 be released a standalone DLC? I must admit, I don't know the answer to that question. Darzeds, um, when it comes to multiplayer, your best bet is to just hang back and wait for um, uh, wait for information um, from Dovetail. Um, can't really talk about my multiplayer at the moment. It's uh, still under heavy development. See you in a bit, Fusion Coil. Norman, you're back from vacation. Fantastic. Hey, Flickern. When loading Tearing Sim, why is there an NVIDIA loco? I'm assuming it's something to do with NVIDIA, but I don't know the origin of that, to be honest. There'll be a part, an agreement or a partnership or something that made that happen. That, that happened long before I joined the company. David, I think it's fair to say that I will explore as much as I can of the new simulator once it's out. And uh, show show everybody everything, and do do as just enjoy it as much as possible. Tyron One, yeah, the 980 Ti does a good job, doesn't it? I'm also running with SSAA two by two, which um, does quite a nice job. Oh, we haven't got transcoding, have we? I better turn the um, bit rate down, otherwise that's going to really hurt. <laughs> 
for those of you that haven't got great connections. There we go. I've turned the bitrate down. How long is this scenario, train boy? This scenario is about an hour. Dizzy Brinkster, will, uh, will there be a UK TSW? Well, I, uh, all I can say is nothing's been announced. Essentially, all I can do on this channel is clarify anything that's been announced. If it hasn't already been announced, then I can't announce it. That's not my job. <laughs> Announce your awesomeness. <laughs> Matt is full of much secrets, yeah. yeah. Matt is full of much secrets. Sounds like something's going past us. Kira okay, Fletcher, I'm going to get spammed with TSW questions until, until, until it's released. Well, you know what? That's fair enough. I want to help people understand the announcements as they come out, for if, they, if they have any questions or they don't understand. So I, I'll certainly do my best to help clarify anything um, as far as I'm allowed to. But yes, there's going to be a lot of questions that I just can't answer, and I just hope that you'll all uh, bear with me on that. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. Gator Gamma, you are from Portugal. Well, welcome, sir. Uh, Tyron 1, what's the name of the graphics card? It's a 980, an Asus Strix 980 Ti. Spam track, you're out of the loop and don't know what this world thing is, so here you should pay more attention. <laughs> Oh, I don't stop here to go via. Just not paying any attention at this point, am I? Twit! Watching the chat, I'm just not paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, that was a fail. <laughs> oh dear, anyway, we're up to 120 now. It's still only delayed us by 60 seconds, adding an extra stop in. It's not bad going, actually. Yep, it's extra special stop. The guard told me it's... Yeah, yeah, it was a quest stop. Request stop, that's what it was. What on earth? Why is the brake come on? I didn't hear a C... Did you hear a C for alarm? Was that what it was? I'm confused. Mm. <clears throat> Loving it. Loving it. Just a practice stop. Yep, absolutely. Hey Grog, welcome. Yep, there's just another stop there in the platform, um, in in the tunnel here, just in case the regular visitors wanted to, um, ex you know, have a take a look at the platform. Really.
course now we're about two minutes late Berlin Sud Cruise you just caught a 20 pound carp in a creek nice job sir nice job is it me or is the light different yeah the lights different um, well, I'm not sure why it would be that different, to be honest. I know it's on the camera, certainly. The light does look a bit brighter than normal. Silent, informative, fun alarm. I think you might be right. Oh, it's LZB. Yeah, of course it probably is, isn't it? Yeah. There's Berlin Sud Cruise. What do you think about Jeremy Clarkson's new show? Oh, I'm interested to hear... Look, it's just gone off again. CIFA's decided not to give me an audible alarm anymore. I saw the CIFA light go on, but... Only just the emergency brake went off. She stopped talking to me. What have I done to upset you? Don't, don't forsake me. have to pay a bit more attention to the uh, the light array and uh, watch for uh, watch for the sea for light coming on because it seems like it, well, it's in troll map mode at the moment There you go, there's the C for light. Is it the game glitching or the stream glitching? How do you mean? What do you mean glitching, Ayrton? The game's not glitching to me at all. Or do you mean that you can't hear the C for alarm? Or You'll need to be a little more precise. Minus 307. GG. It skips and lags every few seconds. Oh, transmit is going certainly smooth enough. Try switching off the new flash player. Use HTML5, or sorry, switch to the new HTML5 player. Alright, 120 at this signal, but we're still an 80 limit on the track. But what I need to do is reorganize my desk so I can have my control panel in front of me here while I'm streaming instead of over to the left because then I can't I cut the moment I can't really see the gauges specifically the nice light that comes on when the C for light comes on
Right, pushing up to 140. Thank you for the follow, Stuart C. 1987. Much appreciated. Wow, we got up to 140 in no time at all. Oh, switch to LZB. Excellent. One sixty. Night Watashi. One of the other things, guys, when I started the stream, I started it at three megabit. Maybe try um, refreshing your browser just to see whether or not, because I've dropped it down to two since we haven't got transcoding. But maybe it's worth trying to see whether or not that has uh, an impact. Oh, Amara, uh, Arnold Ashram says, can't use HTML5 player. Apparently there is a solution. You disable Flash's hardware acceleration. Lutherstadt is our next uh, stop. Walk back to get 200. Oh, come on, this see for things, because I think I'm going to turn see for off. That's just getting annoying. You have transcoding now? Really? How does that work? I don't normally get transcoding midway through a stream. Yeah, I'm going to turn C for off. Something's not quite working there. It's decided not to play me any of the alarms. Right, let's see for off. BMJ Epic. On North London line to AI. Uh, can you ask a whole question? I don't understand the question, BMJ Epic. It seems like a statement. Are you asking whether it's possible to make AI do the change? And the answer is no. That's why you start with one or the other. So just make sure that whatever goes past the player is the right one. We're back on moving again. Yeah, I tried to use Microsoft Edge. I really did. I wanted to like it, but I just got, I had to go back to Chrome. It was just too much that didn't quite work with it. Matt never gives 100%. Oh, you know what? Harsh. Two hundred KMH. Green like goodness. 188 miles per hour or kilometers per hour.
Start at 10,000 points and you only gain, um, lose points from my... <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, it'll be different. HS1 is 300 kilometers an hour and it may go up to 320. I don't know whether the yeah, the new ones are running at 320 yet, they might be. Ah, 5.35 but the distance isn't going down which means we've got uh, an event in, ahead of us. Tyrone One, if you want it to work without flickering, you need to be able to use the SSAA um, anti-aliasing. Um, if you go with 2x2, two two, which is what I'm using, you get a much better effect. 3x3 three three is even better, but SSAA is extremely expensive on graphics and processor, mostly graphics. So if you've got really good graphics, then SSAA will massively improve the image. I let that cup of tea go, uh, that cup of water at least, go a bit on the, cold, the cool side. See that Renault Rails? Just about topped out on speed now, limit 200. John Andrew Smith, how did I make the map thing? Um, I used the Rail Driver API to talk to the game and retrieve the um, the Latin long of the train and speed. And then I used the Google Maps API, or the Bing Maps API, to get the map view down. And then I just center it on the Latin long of the train. I mean, roughly that that's all there is to it. There's, it's not a particularly complex application. Hey, Karen's Gaming. Passenger view, absolutely. Basically sitting behind the uh, sitting behind the driver's bit. Uh, Francois, there's not been any new ones since Stuart.
Trebin track one north. Yeah, the ICE is pretty nice, isn't it, train track, Trev? Cup of tea. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. Gunpowder tea tonight, just in case anyone's interested. Hey there, Steam Master. Yeah, Dave, gunpowder tea. It's uh, one of the variants of green tea, but it's so named gunpowder tea because of its... Um, uh, because of the way it looks. It looks like gunpowder when it's um, uh, in its dry form. ICEM, not an ICET. Yeah, ICET. Yeah. Anything called gunpowder that does not explode is disappointing. Fair enough. How are we doing now? We still haven't made it to Luthersstadt Wittenberg. So 7.38, 7.33 currently. I imagine we're going to get held up on a red. I can only assume so. Why is the distance not going down? Because there's a hidden instruction. Which means it essentially shows you the next one, but doesn't get... If you're, you're on this instruction, the next one's hidden. The next one down is um, the one that it uses, so it gives you the distance to the next one, but it's from the previous one, if that makes sense, not from where you are. So the, ne the distance doesn't go down until you pass the hidden instruction. That's right, JWR. You're forgiven. <laughs> How do you hide the instructions? A tick box, if I remember rightly. 
Something will happen 5.35 kilometers before Luther start. Yes. Go via instruction. Uh, two ways you can either make a uh, use when you're making the scenario along the tops a bunch of icons. One of them's a red flag. That's the go via icon. That will not show up on the HUD. If you do um, a stop at instruction, but set the minimum speed to one mile per hour, then it will show up on the HUD, but it will it'll show up as a go via, not a stop at. Scott, without looking at more of what the uh, it, what your um, loco is, it's difficult to know. Steam engines are notoriously difficult to put chips in because of the reduced amount of space you've got to fit the decoder. the The Hornby ones are very very small, so they they're usually a, a an easy fit. Uh, TCS make this tiny little one which is essentially is like a plug and the decoder is on the back of the plug and it doesn't take any more room up than the plug which is astounding but the like the Backman decoders are they're quite they're quite large actually all things considered Are you sure it's not possible to make scripts use files that are outside of the folder itself? I don't know. I, th I think you can, but you just can't ship those files. Haven't started putting the socket in the tender. How do you mean, Cameron's came in? <laughs> oh, I haven't started. What? Oh, we haven't started putting the socket in the tender. It depends. Um, so, I mean, a radial is a tank engine, so there isn't a tender. Setting the stop at to line speed. Now I always said it's a one mile per hour. Otherwise, um, if you're doing a little bit under line speed, you'll fail that instruction and the whole scenario. Always said it's one mile an hour. If it's an AI train, you have to set it to line speed. But if it's a player train, always said it's a one mile per hour. Oh, I hope you found him, and that's not very nice. If you stop at a go via or fail instruction, yep. Best master in the world. You follow yesterday, if I remember rightly. Thank you very much for that. 
Unless you want the player to be doing a certain speed with an operator. Of the arm. Absolutely, yeah. If you're doing a speed trial and you want them to be doing over a certain speed, then absolutely you should put a min speed in there. Coffee or tea? What do you think, 4072? <laughs> Gunpowder tea today. You made a scenario, no AI passed a signal of danger which you could not tab through. That suggests it doesn't think you want to go that It doesn't want you to go that way. Look carefully where the, the path goes in the scenario editor and see whether it's going where you're driving. Or take out the player icon and watch to see what happens when the AI drives the train and see what it, 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 see what it does. Sometimes if you put slightly the wrong path in somewhere it can decide to go forward and then back a bit and then forward on another line. Train track trav coffee coffee coffee. What is this coffee? <laughs> Yeah, Flicker, and I was, I was uh, <laughs> late for uh, a couple of stops and Sifa started playing up, which I've disabled now, and uh, slamming the brakes on all the time, so not quite sure what happened there. Right, according to this, we're nine minutes away from uh, Lutherstadt Wittenberg. Shazen, it sounds like it's it's failing because of track directionality. So when you um, when you route a train, um, when you when a route is built, the directionality of the track is set. Um, and if you um, if you try and route a train into a platform and the track direction is wrong, then it will. Uh, if it's going that way, then it will come along all the way and reverse back again. So what you can do is you can override the track directionality so that that's not a problem. If when you're in the scenario editor you press the space bar you can cycle through the track properties visualizer uh, and one of them is a bunch of arrows and that's the track directionality so if you see the arrow is going the wrong way and it, or it isn't a bi-directional arrow then um, uh, then that's your problem. This master in the world, TS2017 is going to be exciting, yeah. Uh, well, TS World is uh, is what I'm certainly involved in. TS17, remember, is um, the next iteration of this train simulator, not the new one. Can you change track directionality in scenarios? Yes, you can. Uh, a Hahnemann TS17 so I just want to clarify TS17 is the next iteration of the current TS TS World is the Unreal Super Duper one um, TS17 goes on sale in September I can't remember the exact date and you'll be able to buy TS17 with the route pack and so forth uh, or use the Complete My Collection to get, the, uh, get all of the routes uh, without paying for the ones you've already got um, TS World the beta comes out in December 
System specs have been announced Britallica there on train-simulator.com website along with a lot of other information and a couple of rather nice screenshots. There's Zana. Right, 9.6 kilometers till speed reduction. That's been nice to talk about UE40. Oh man, it really is. <laughs> it really is. I've got no idea how long Pioneer's Edition would be available for. V9 bot, the um, TS17 goes on sale September 15th, yes. This um, TS World, not this TS World, but TS World um, is public beta in December and then on sale in February. There's Zonigal. Right, distance is going down now, 5.0 kilometers. GWR, um, nothing's been announced as far as UK content, that's about as much as I can say at the moment. Dropping down to 160. Um, to be honest, I think I might not do the farming tonight. I'm really tired, so I think I might actually um, skip the farming tonight, Mr. Steel Man. Just uh, have an early night. What with streaming, streaming until I don't know when last night, and. Uh, I had to get up early this morning for meetings and things, so I'm uh, I'm whooped. Oh, the Backman, yeah, the Backman chips are some of the biggest ones. The Hornby ones aren't a bad chip, and they're quite small. Or like I said, TCS is the other one to go for. This world needs a pacer, absolutely. Is TS World Beta going to be on Steam? Yes, it is. Oh, nice baked bean, kid. Nice.
the AO train's not doing anything. That suggests that something is wrong that needs looking at, yeah. Well, I take suggestions from viewers once the beta is out. Uh, that's the point of the uh, of the beta, yeah. Tobatha Gaming, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Gets us this far. Blessed, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Oh, I shall stream the beta. Whether I don't know whether I'll get to stream anything before the beta, though. Will tier 16 upgrade to tier 17? It will, but you won't get the content the same as normal. You'll need to buy the content if you want the content. Tom Matisson, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Do I feel confident I could drive an actual steam loco in real life? I don't know. You'd, you'd, you'd be a little bit careful being overconfident about what you can do having played a simulator. But I think with instruction, I would have a, a, a good head start. Let's put it that way. What has tier seventeen got the tier sixteen hasn't apart from the roots? I, I don't know. All I know is that the code chain the, the the code will update whatever changes. It might just be the menu, I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. Nothing's been announced yet about that. What if you have content do you get it for free? If you've got the content, what are you expecting to get, MK Dons? So you got tier 16, does that mean you don't have to buy tier 17, just the packs? So consider tier 17 to be a content bundle. Um, yeah, so if you buy tier 17, you'll get all of the roots, essentially. It's a cheap way of buying those roots. If you don't buy if you don't buy tier 17, then you won't get the bundle. You'll just your core game will just upgrade. I think it'll say it's tier 17, but it won't have the roots. Which is how it's been since TS thirteen. MK Dons, you'll have to buy the game if you want to get all of the roots. Which is how it's always been. Every year, if you want the content, you need to buy the pack and then um, put it on and then let it override your um, your install. I say override, it just adds the packs to your uh, game. So we're stuck here for a bit because we arrived here a few minutes early, but we've only got about 50 seconds left. Hey Robert Lanny, welcome. I'm good, thank you.
I arrived early, Steam Master. So it's holding me until my allotted departure time. Here's the most important question for the release, Nico. What do you do if your SSD is full already? Um, free up some space. <laughs> or get a bigger SSD. There you go. MK Dons, if you've already got all of the routes that come with tier 17, then no, you don't have to buy anything. There's nothing to get, essentially. You'll get nothing by buying it. If you've already got all the routes. And if you have all the routes in tier 17, you get TSW for free in December. Yes, if you have all the routes of tier 17 Pioneers Edition. What engine does the current game use? Um, it's a proprietary engine that was developed a long time ago. It's not a, a, name, a known named engine. Run at gaming. Did I create TS World? Well, I'm the producer for it, but there's a lot of other people, a load of other people, um, that are working on the game. So, and they're the ones that are actually creating it. Happy banner, you've not even just figured out how to work for Dovetail. <laughs> well, the engine's name is Heracles, if I remember rightly, um, Bait Being Kid, but that won't mean anything to anyone because it's not a public engine. Simon, am I the one that decided there was going to be Danish DLC for TSW? I didn't make that decision at all. I don't believe anyone's made that decision. <laughs> do I have to fire people too? Um, it would come under what I do, but I don't have to. I have never had to do that, so because I work with awesome people. No, I don't put my feet up and drink tea. No, I, got, I was just running around like a headless chicken today, going to meetings and having discussions and planning. And Right, going for Leipzig now. About half an hour. How many devs started in the beginning? When TSW first started, there were, uh, I think, three engineers that were working on it, and two of them are still working on it. One of them were moved on to work on other other projects. Stream's jumping again. It's not my side, Ayrton. And it's uh, the sending stream is solid as a rock here. Um, Scott, I'm not going to run. I've decided I'm not going to run Farming Simulator tonight. I need to. Uh, I need to go to bed a bit earlier. I'm. Uh, I'm beat after today. I just. I thought I'd, I'd start, and I'd, I'd, at the beginning of the stream, I thought I'll. I'll do Farming Simulator, but no, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it through the train sim, um, but I'm I'm going to go to bed after that.
Come on, Swire, how many does Dovetail have? No, it started with six employees. It's got 130 now, I think. I don't know what the number is. I know it's over 100. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit... <laughs> It's also really warm in here, I might have to go and open the door or something. Oh, the mouse. Nah, it's because the mouse cursor is being held there by chat messages. Was I one of the beginning devs? No. No, I joined the company. I mean, I've been in and out as an external consultant since the original Rail Simulator. Um, I went to see Kuju several times. Um, but that was in my role as sort of the site admin for UK Train Sim. Um, I knew Paul Jackson when he set up the company and took over Rail, RSDL and, and so forth. Um, and... I've followed the company all the way, but I didn't actually officially join and become an employee until it was about 20 people, something like that. Spam track, I own most of the DLC for Farm Sim as well. If you're trying a different browser, Ayrton, what browser are you using? And are you using the HTML viewer or the Flash viewer? Seen it expand pretty much from the beginning. Yeah, certainly. I mean, when I, when I joined, it was still very much a small company. How much DLC for FSX do you have? Uh, I've got a fair bit, to be honest. I just because um, I don't get that one or that stuff automatically, but I do just basically send us an email and say, "Please send me when I want." <laughs> Where did the name Dovetail Games from? So Dovetail, um, you know what a Dovetail joint is, um, and the idea is it's about dovetailing ideas together, essentially. So where does what is now TS fit into with the old Kuju train sim and what was supposed to be MSTS2? And there's no comparison. There's no the MSTS2 and Kuju's uh, EA Rail Simulator are two different things. What got you interested in trains and train simming? Well, my dad is the um, uh, is the source of my interest in trains and. Um, it was MSTS that got me interested in Train Simulator. I started following it before it was released, um, and then I was able to get hold of a copy before release by entering a competition. What colour is the green flying Scotsman or something daft? Yeah, MSTS2 was attempted to be built twice, once by Kuju and once by Asus Studio. Both of them failed. BMJ Epic, what keyboard do you have? No idea what keyboard you have. <laughs> How would you expect me to know that? <laughs>
Seems like I'm driving on water. Yeah, I think Berlin Leipzig was made originally because remember it started as Berlin Wittenberg, and I think it was started before Google was was done. Um, so, and you can't change it. Right, we're dropping to 160. Ever thought of getting a Razer keyboard? I do want to get a nicer keyboard, but you know what? This Logitech K120 is dirt cheap and it's a really nice keyboard. About two kilometres would drop into 160 anyway. Whatever happened to Miss TS2? I I must admit I don't know what the real what what the inner inner story is of what happened to those. I think the harsh truth is that developing a train simulator is a lot harder than everyone, anyone really gives it credit. It's a lot harder than you expect, given the. Uh, that you're riding on rails, how hard can it be? But actually there's an awful lot going on with a train simulator. Oh, it just told me it was going to drop to 160 and it lied. The mouse with all the buttons. Yeah, I do like my mouse with my buttons. <laughs> a train lover. They think making a train sim is easy. A Hahnemann, um, I can't really talk about that side of things at the moment, but uh, there, are, there is going to be a lot more announced about that over the coming weeks and months. I think the, the cryptic answer is that some elements are harder, some elements are easier, but overall it's better. <laughs> better doesn't necessarily mean easier. Just tick simulate physics. Well, that only enables the um, gravity physics, Nico. Oh, Haddock and my wife don't understand the greatness of this mouse. They just its complexity um, defies them. <laughs> and just about anyone who uses my mouse because they look at it and go, what? <laughs> the sad thing is that it's got loads of buttons on it and I just don't use any of the buttons <laughs> but it's nice knowing they're there. I've actually got enough code implemented in TS Connect because on the side here let me see if I can get it to where you can see it on the side you can see how it's lit up so that changes colour and I've got enough code in TS Connect, I can change the colour of the lights or make them flash or blink depending on what's going on. So like if AWS goes off, I can have the mouse flashing colours. <laughs> I should do that one day just because I can. Moggy, it's a Logitech G600 if I remember rightly.
Train Lover, yeah, Tears Connect is something I've written, unfortunately I can't share it at the moment. It's what drives all these and all this and the map and the background and it's kind of like my Swiss Army knife of stuff. No, it wasn't a C for alarm, it was the um, uh, LZB. Because we're now um, under, we're at 6.7 kilometres until the next change. Robert Lanny, will tier 17 work with workshop routes you've already got? Yes, it will. Tier 17 is fully compatible with tier 16 then. It's. Uh, it's no problem. Remember, TS World is not the same as TS17. TS World is the Unreal. TS17 is essentially the latest iteration of this simulator. If anything, the G600 needs more buttons. Yeah, I think you're right. It does. It needs more buttons. <laughs> the problem is, at the moment, the buttons on the side are all mapped to numbers. And the number of times I... If you ever look in the schedule sheet and you see one of the entries has got like a number 8 or a number 1 in it instead of an entry, it's because I've whacked the side of the mouse next to my keyboard and uh, it's put that number on the uh, uh, on the uh, in the cell. How many mouse buttons has it got? You've got the three, you've got two, your left, right, and your mouse wheel. You've then got a shift button on the right. So you've got a third button, the one that confuses everybody. Um, then you've got two buttons next to the mouse wheel. Um, and then you've got 12 more on the side in a 4x3 grid. Alright, slowing down to 160. The shift button I find really, really useful actually. One of the things you can map the shift button to, or any of the buttons to, but I use the shift key, is um, changing the DPI. So if I'm doing stuff in paint.net or something like that, then I can use the mouse's normal DPI, which moves the mouse around nice and quickly. And then when I want to do a fine movement, I hold the shift key down and it sort of quarters the DPI so I can get really fine movements on the, uh, on the mouse without having to do anything else. It's very, very handy that. Very, very handy. Can you get a PC to run TS17 and TSW? Yeah, TSW will install as a completely separate game. Um, it won't uh, interfere with TSW. Uh, TS, TS17 and TSW won't interfere with each other at all. You now officially hate Adobe. Why is that, Arnold? Oh, we've got 200. MK Dons will third party routes with TS17. With Everything that works on TS16 will work on TS17. Remember, TS17 and TS World are not the same thing. TS World is the new one. TS17 is the next iteration of TS16. How's the new MIG working? It's working quite well, actually. I'm quite pleased with the sound when I've heard, listened back to the recordings.
Why did TS, uh, DTG base TSW in American freight route? Again, that's something that DTG probably will talk about. Latest flash pair update is causing AMD drivers to hard crash. Oh my word, that is not good. That is not good. There is another way of watching Twitch. I can't remember what it's called. It's live streamer or live connect or I can't remember what it is now. But um, you effectively use that combined with VLC and it's apparently a really good way of viewing Twitch streams as in terms of better quality, less buffering and so forth. Why change the year? Why not just generate train sim, Mike? Um, I don't know. That that's a that's a good question. You could pose to um, the guys at uh, in the office on um, via the train simulator dot com website. I did as a comment to the article um, that talks about the new the new stuff. Yeah, I just noticed BMG. I picked 152 at the moment. That's incredible. This week's been doing really well for um, viewers. Actually, I'm really pleased. Like I said, if we keep up the numbers. I shall, uh, I shall apply on Saturday, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> if will Steam come to TSW? You know what? If it doesn't, I will be an unhappy bunny. You're all here to see if I fall asleep. I saw a, um, I can't remember where it was now. I saw a, uh, a clip someone had recorded from a Twitch stream where this guy was playing a Zelda game or something, and he fell asleep on the stream. I mean, he was barely awake. I mean, I am having a party compared to how asleep this guy was. Um, and um, he, um, he, so he fell asleep, and. Um, while he was asleep, about an hour after he fell asleep, they were all the chat just went nuts. They were just, you know, taking the Mickey out of him, watching the game, doing nothing. Um and then he got raided. And so there was like hundreds of people watching him sleep. <laughs> it's bizarre. We'll have the Pudsy costume on for the next for the children in each stream. Absolutely. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Oh, LZB end. We're coming out of LZB. Let's start paying attention to signals. We're still 20 minutes from the end. Right, we're now in PZB control. B. Harrison, the spec of PC for TSW has been put on train-simulator.com. If you look at the news article on there, I can't remember what the spec is off the top of my head. Children in Need stream is in November. I can't remember what the date is. Don't forget, folks, if you're at all into Flight Simulator, I will be um, on the Flight Angel stream September 17th, charity stream. Is a controller connected? Nope. Maps not so much gone haywire. We're running exactly parallel to the track. It's just off the screen. You can't see it. Right, reduction in speed to eighty. What by the next signal? Seriously? Oh, that's a ground signal. Can I connect the controller for the 24 hour scenario? I guess it wouldn't hurt to free the memory up. I can reset the game. 
Fusion Coil. Um, I don't know what, but I think it's the Steam version of Flight Sim they're going to be using on Flight Angels um, stream. And if you're familiar with um, Frugal Sim and Jane Rachel Whitaker, that's who's involved in the um, the um, Flight Angels stream. But it's a it's a massive charity stream. It's going to be broadcast all over. It's um, yeah, it's an, it's going to be tremendous. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with that. I just saw a tram. Better. Operational error. Oh. Too busy. I'm looking at trams. Look at this. I have no idea what that operational error was. I obviously did something wrong. <laughs> wasn't really looking. I was looking at trams. I was all excited about trams. Yeah, well, I looked at... I pressed the 8 key to to look out and then I couldn't... Then, of course, the mouse was looking at something else. Oh, did I spad? No... Not had any yellow lights, except for the one I just had. Can you drive the trams? I don't know. I don't think so. What time will the 24 hour start? I think they're going midnight to midnight. Good night, Tyron One. We are up to, we're up to 90 minutes. Yeah, we are up to 90 minutes. Wow. Okay, that was... <laughs> that took a bit longer than it's supposed to. I thought it felt like it was taking a while. Simon Lund, Flight Sims. The Flight Angel stream is September 17th. I have to watch that VOD later on and work out why I got that operational error. I'm sure it was my fault, but I just don't remember. Don't know what it was. There's no stations that I've missed or stops that I've missed. Yeah, it's a career scenario, isn't it? So if it was uh, spad, it would have ended. Nice, Arnold. Seventy seventy-five is okay. Plenty of AI. Keep it interesting. Good journey. Uh, Francois, should we? I should be doing my bit from here. I'm doing one hour of it. That's been clarified now. I'm going to be hosting one hour of it, and then but I shall I should be logging in and um, uh, and flying along in some of the other stream um, segments and uh, doing my doing my bit to help out. So it'd be good if um, lots of people can uh, at least watch, if not uh, join in. I think it's flight-angels.net. I think is the URL for the stream. It's in support of the Serious Fun Charity, which is a major major US. Um, kids charity this is Leipzig other nut house streamers I don't know if anybody else I mean like I say frugal sim is there but I don't know if uh, like the likes of Mike Davies are going to be involved there's quite a few people going to be involved in it, and there's lots of people um, going to be involved. If you go onto the website, they've got a video where they talk about what's going to be on, who's going to be involved. No, it's not a negative glod, I'm afraid. I didn't quite get enough score to get a negative glod. Might be a negative sliver, though. <laughs> Actually, minus 613. Oh, no, I'm going to get points if I, open, if I remember open the doors. Uh, we might get points. What well, aircraft? I'm going to be playing the Piper Aztec. It's a short hop 
from Kuala Lumpur. Man, do I look like jaundice of the head? <laughs> Curb noob, you're using, you're watching the stream in VLC. Yeah, it does. I, I'm, uh, I'm told it is a very good, uh, a very good thing. Well done, train has arrived on time. Ish. Well, minus 400, so I didn't even get a negative borns. Look at that. Is it up here? Yes, it is. Boom, out we go. <clears throat> right, okay, so that was Ertz uh, IC Nachleipzig which well, is a, a variation of one of the scenarios that comes with Berlin Leipzig um, and it will um, it just changes some of the AI trains over particularly the player train which is good right okay so one of the things I was looking through um, the spreadsheet to see what people one of the things people are asking for for tutorials and how to drives and things and the 150 was on this so I thought I'd do the 150 because it's pretty straightforward so it won't take us too long but I do get that question about the 150 quite a bit so bear with me a second <laughs> <laughs> 